Hi, this is Ahmed Alogaili and Manos Brilakis, presenting case 225 for the manual of CTO interventions. This is a case in which undergrade wiring unexpectedly succeeded in crossing a complex CTO. The patient was an elderly gentleman with significant angina, he had previous bypass with occluded vein graft to the right coronary artery, nearly normal ejection fraction, inferior ischemia, and a right coronary artery CTO that had been attempted three times in the past without success. This is a coronary CTA, which we often do, especially for cases with previous failure, showing significant calcification of the right coronary artery. Diagnostic angiogram shows a clear proximal cap, but there is an acute marginal arising close to the proximal cap. There is significant calcification through the occlusion, and this is a distal vessel that is filling via both ipsilateral collaterals as well as contralateral collaterals. There were some epicardials filling the right posterior lateral. The saphenous vein graft to the RCA was occluded. There was some disease into the left main, and there was a patent saphenous vein graft to the obtuse marginal branch. So we did have a clear but relatively blunt proximal cap, length of about 20-30 millimeters, and uh, we did have uh, an occluded vein graft that could be used as retrograde, and we did have some epicardial collaterals that did not seem to be very good for the retrograde approach. So our plan was to try undergrade wiring first, and then if it didn't work, try to go retrograde through the occluded saphenous vein graft. We used uh, a large 8 friends AL1 guide with a guide extension, and then um, we used uh, a turnpike microcaster filter XTA that did not work. And then we tried with the Gaia Next2 through the same uh, uh, turnpike LP microcatheter. We did have some resistance uh, along the proximal kappa. We redirected the guide wire. And then uh, we did have uh, difficulty, but at some point there was a movement of the guide wire across the proximal cap, and then it seemed to advance uh, along the course of the vessel. So we advanced the turnpike LP and then de-escalated to a gladius mongo. And the plan actually here was to use a knuckle and dissect all the way distally and do ADR, but surprisingly the mongo seemed to go easily without uh, um, being um, knuckled at the tip. So we did a contralateral injection. And now we're seeing that we are going in the course of the vessel and actually we're advancing the wire towards the end, which is a good trick for when trying to cross CTOs, to try to advance the guide wire once we have a visualization from contralateral injection and the wire easily advanced along the course of the vessel. So here it is, this uh, complex CTO that had been failed three times before was crossed fairly easily with undergrade wiring. However, as it's often the case when undergrade wiring works, we could not advance the microcatheter through the proximal cap. This was microcatheter uncrossable. So we followed the algorithm. The first step is to use a small balloon and then increase support. So in our case, we used the one or sapphire that successfully crossed. So we predilated the RCA. And then the microcatheter could be delivered, the same turnpike LP microcatheter. We then exchanged the guide wire for a workhorse guide wire. And now we are ready to perform our percutaneous coronary intervention. We perform intravascular ultrasound that uh, shows uh, significant calcification on the vessel, but there was also a lot of soft plaque. And then uh, we predilated, the balloons expanded well. We placed stents and we got a nice result with TIMI3 flow all the way to the distal right coronary artery. So, in summary, this case provides us some interesting lessons. The first one is that uh, undergrade uh, wiring could be successful even in highly complex cases like this one with severe calcification, previous bypass, and uh, three prior patients. The second is about the importance of strong support. This is true both for the wiring, but also for delivering microcatheters and balloons through the lesion. In this case, we did have a microcatheter uncrossable, mid-RCA proximal cap, and we followed the balloon uncrossable algorithm using a small balloon that was successful in crossing the lesion, predilating, and then delivering the microcatheter with a nice final result. Thank you.